Hey everyone, how you doing? So this is the third video in the series of the 30 day core content challenge. We are spending 30 days. We've got 28 to go now trying to earn the Alteryx designer core certificate. So what we've done so far is we did an intro video, just talking about what exactly we're going to do here. And then the last video we did one and two, where we downloaded designer onto our machines. And then for the for days one and two, we did the onboarding videos. It actually added up to a pretty good workload for two days. It probably would take you the better part of two to two and a half hours, depending on how much you struggle with the weekly challenge, which took up a, a pretty good chunk of time. The onboarding videos gave you a good overview of the program and how to use designer, sort of how to navigate around it, give you a little bit of the background around it, how to get into community, how to introduce yourself, get a username and password, all that stuff. You are going to need a username and password on the community in order to take the tests. So it's super simple. You just get on there, put in your name and email, basic contact info, and you pick a username and you're done. So got to do that. What I had planned when I looked at the number of segments within the getting started learning path, which is the next step in our evolution, there were enough segments that I had planned, I think three to four days per segment. I think there are four. And I just sort of parceled them out. Well, as I started looking at the first segment, which this is supposed to be days three through six, so four days spending on it, it really is not that much content. So I may trim that back a little bit. I may sort of work the schedule a little bit as we go through. It's part of the point of doing this is for me to be able to give you a good learning plan for this challenge. With that, let's go ahead and jump in there and I will actually time it and just see how long this thing takes. Without further ado, let me share my screen. All right. So here we are, this is the community webpage. So this is community.alterix.com. We're going to go, these drop down menus are super intuitive. We're going to go straight to the learn drop down, academy, and we're going to go to learning path. When you get here, you can see how many learning paths are available. Hopefully, this resolves here in a second. The one we're going to be working on in this 30 day challenge is the getting started learning path. You can see that once we get done with that, and it says it estimates at about 15 hours. So I don't think, yeah, I think I asked, I had this at about 16 training days. I think there are four segments. We'll find out here in a second, but I don't think it's going to take that much time. So I think maybe what I can do is shorten up the time on these first couple of ones that are shorter and go ahead and put a little more time in the schedule for weekly challenges. That's fine. So I leaned into this a little bit. I'm gonna restart so that we're all on the same sheet of music when we kick this off. We are here in the Getting Started Learning Path. Let's go ahead and full screen this bed, Larry. Okay. how to use core certification credentials. In this first portion, we're going to prepare for the foundation's micro-credential, which is the first test we're going to take. I had it planned for day 15. I think we may be able to bump that up based on how long this is going to take. But I am not going to have you over the shoulder every slide. You can absolutely go through this yourself. There's nothing here that, unlike weekly challenges, there's nothing here that I need to talk you through. I just want to give you intros and and then 
at the end of it, we'll talk through how long it's gonna take, and maybe we'll lean into another weekly challenge at the tail end of this to sort of keep us on schedule. With that, let me pause the recording. I'm gonna go through part of this and just see where we are. I'll come back and recap the sections one by one. Gotten through the first portions, kind of the defining data, types of data, that's taken about 10 minutes. And we've got here to a concept that I wanna identify for you. You have these exercises within this getting this learning path called try it. And so they teach you a couple of things. They're gonna hit you with a quiz. And we got the quiz and categorizing data. And now we've got a try it for file type. So let's go ahead and check that out. So it's just going to sort of walk you through and give you the muscle memory of uh, of actually clicking through something that you need to do. These are going to be a lot more constructive when we actually get into Designer. Right now, it's a lot of clickology and sort of defining the, the workspace. So right-click on the file, go to Properties. What is the size and file extension of my resume? 11.6 kilobytes, and it is a docx. There we go. And then you can corner my screen's kind of hidden. Okay, cool. We got the correct, correct response. So the try it's complete. Those are going to get a lot more complex. That one's obviously a bit Barney style, is what we used to say in the Marine Corps. It's super simple. But all right, let's keep going. Almost 10 minutes of the way in. I will pause it again and come back with another highlight. About 20 minutes in now, you can see each. Timer on the screen, a little over 20.45. So we've gone through the part about file types we finished, saw that part. Data types is, I know it's a dry subject. I have to teach this class from time to time. Data types is a tremendously important subject. If you've messed about in Excel and you've had to agonize over the converting strings to numbers and back again, or Excel kind of doing that for you being super helpful Excel, you know that there are there are a lot of platforms out there that just don't do data types well. Alteryx does data types very well, but you need to be cognizant of it. And you always need to be thinking of it when you bring data in, what is my data type? So that's my pitch for paying attention to the data type section. I know it's not the sexiest or most interesting one. We're talking about metadata now. Really want to go through this demonstration. So with metadata, you're trying to sort a list of numbers in increasing order, but the results are not correct. What could be the issue? You could be in dictionary order, um, or it could be a string numeric thing. So you've sorted this, and these are not in number order, then obviously they're a string. Okay, metadata is data about data. I'm not gonna give you the answers to all the quiz here, just saying, that's my pitch for the data types and metadata section. Please attention to this. It's dry, but you'll be fine. So just wrapped up, we're at 25 minutes, just wrapped up that uh, defining data part. At the end of it, it goes into visualizing data and talks about different charts and graphs and what they're good for. Then you're going to take a 10 question quiz. Once you complete that, that defining data is done. And so we've done, we're done with what is data. Let's click into using designer. Okay. Just talking about, all right. So it's just defining the, the panes in designer, tool palette, canvas, config window. Okay, cool. So we're at about 25 minutes. Looks like we might be about halfway through. So this, section may actually be appropriate for about one day. We're going to see. Here we have, we've gotten through and moved the timer bug a couple more minutes. So benefit, don't do that. benefits of designer and first steps in designer really just kind of reference uh, materials. So, uh, sorry, using designer and benefits of designer, um, really just static displays that you're looking at. 
once you get down to those first steps in designer, working with your data and solving it in designer, these are all kind of this format. Let me uh, put the clock away there. So you see here, we have interactive lessons where these are videos where you're gonna do some interaction with something. So at some point you're gonna have to drag and drop. Does not require the install of designer for anybody that is holding off on the install of designer to give themselves some more breathing room for the tests. Do not need it yet. These interactive lessons are gonna give you that muscle memory within So at the end of this video, I do have one surprise. I got something in the mail and I'm going to do an unboxing video. I already opened the box. So I know what's in it, but I will do a short unboxing video. But let me tease that there may be another challenge at the end of this one. I may go straight into October and do a similar thing with another platform. But I'll, I'll talk about that at the end of the episode. So intro to designer. And now we've got a whole new set of videos. Okay, so this is some, um, let me pause this. When I get to the interactive lesson, uh, I will unpause and show you that. Here is the interactive lesson that I was talking about. Here we have in the tool palette, it's saying drag a tool onto the, onto the canvas. So you can see we're not actually in designer. This is still just the web interface on the community, but it allows you to do the, um, I haven't enabled the sound here, but you can see what's going on here. Skipping forward a little bit just to see if it'll queue up to something that's actually going to. Let's go. Come on. There we go. All right, Mr. Narrator. Thank you. Click the filter tool. Now what I'm going to do. Neat. That means your workflow is going to error. Okay, so this isn't terribly illustrative for you, the watcher, but just suffice to say that it's going to talk you through some certain things and then it's going to have you perform an action. So you get a little bit of muscle memory. It's not the actual platform, but it's, it's pretty good. And then you've got some recollection of what exactly you did when you get into actual designer and start pulling tools on. All right, next up. Okay, folks, I just wrapped that up. I won't show you the clock because I estimated some of the times and I scooted through some of the sections. My Wi-Fi was getting a little hinky there. So grand total, I estimate that this getting started section should take you less than an hour and a half, all told. So that has some far-reaching effects that I'll talk about in a minute. But let me just sum up the useful or most useful parts of this program. Here you can see the last three check marks and I've highlighted here the first steps in designer. So each one of these is probably about a five minute video. This is a cheat sheet here, which is fairly useful talking about what tools should you use? What exactly do the tools do? 
and then actual actions you might want to take. So use case, I want to rank data. What, what should you use? This is a tremendously useful tool. Most of this, I didn't have this cheat sheet when I was learning. Most of this, I kind of had to figure out on my own, but it's really cool to have this. I might actually print this out and have it at my desk just because it's a nice ready reference. But I absolutely recommend looking at this cheat sheet for new learners. This is going to help orient you towards which tool does what. Okay, but so with first steps, we got into interaction, clickology, interface, what do the panes do, all that sort of good stuff. We talked about inputting data into the workflow. As Sherlock Holmes said, data, 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 cannot make bricks without clay. Data in cleanly. What I usually tell my classes is a workflow without properly input data is like scaffolding in a plan without raw materials. You're never going to build a building unless you have some raw materials to work with. Your data is that raw material. So you got how to input data. We've got understanding data types. Again, can't can't really hit on these data types enough. A lot of that is just the, the kids got to burn their hand before they understand the stove is hot. Sometimes you just have to make mistakes and waste time and bang your head against the desk before you realize how important data types are. If that's the way you learn, hey, hey it's the way I learn. Let's be honest. Okay, second last section is working with your data. So we're talking about manually entering data now with a text input tool, um, using the cut and paste rather than using the input data tool. We talk about how to view your data. Do you want to view it in a browse tool? Do you want to view it in the results pane? A lot of different ways to crack that nut. And then you get into solving in designer, which is really just a YouTube video. Anyway, I, I don't think that's that useful, but all told, it took me about an hour and 10 minutes. I don't, your individual results may vary. It's not going to vary much because 90% of this, you're just watching videos. Look at the next section. What do we got coming up next? Data preparation. Now we're starting to get into tools and you see it names tools, basic data prep, formatting data. It's not really tools. But now we're talking about sort, filter, sample. You're getting into individual tools. What do they do? And then it's going to culminate in a practice exercise. Data prep is not going to end in weekly challenges. I mean, mixed in a weekly challenge there. It's not going to end in a certification. We've still got to get through combining and cleansing. Then we're going to do our first certification. Okay. So to sum up, what have we accomplished thus far? We've done the getting started portion of the getting started learning path. So what have we done? We got started. Hallelujah. Um, so if this is your first blush with Alteryx, I hope that was helpful to you. Yeah, next up, we're going to do data preparation. So the, the whole timeline with all of these segments, I gave them each four days because that's just what how it worked out mathematically in my mind, given the fact that that whole getting started segment was less than an hour and a half, I think you can easily get through that in a day. I'll go ahead and, and cut it in half just so I don't have to make another video tomorrow. Let's call this, it was originally gonna be day th days three through six. Let's call it days three and four. That'll give you two days. It's a weekend anyway, so you probably don't wanna be spending an hour and a half a day staring at an Alteryx screen. Day three and four is going to be the getting started learning path. So I'll have to go back and amend my thumbnail. On day five, which today is Saturday, day four, Sunday. So Labor Day, you can expect to see a new video from me where we will start into the data preparation uh, portion of the learning path. And then we'll actually get into you know doing a bit more work. Cool. So that's what's up next. I have this, which I tease this out. So in this Amazon box here, I have another book. My idea for this series is if people like the 30 day challenge and you know, I love 30 day challenges. If people enjoy this and if people get to follow it and get to liking it and get to watching the videos, 
I may kick off the more challenges. I have talked with the publishers of this book. This is a, a keystone instructional book for another business intelligence platform. I have talked with the writers of that book about perhaps doing a challenge with said other business intelligence platform in October. So look forward to that. Hey, everybody, um, please, if you like these videos, I'm going to keep making them. I've committed to this for 30 days. If it doesn't catch on, hey, it doesn't catch on. But if you like these videos, if you'd like to see something else from me, if you'd like to see a different kind of format, there's something you want to stress. I know we have not done anything terribly strenuous so far, but um, yeah, go ahead and drop down in the comments. Give me a like, give me a dislike, uh, but tell me why. Go ahead and drop down in the comments and tell me I'd, I'd rather see this or I want to see more work in the, the platform. I'm trying to keep it a bit platform, not platform agnostic, but a bit platform separate right now. There will be time for us in the next couple of segments where we're going to do weekly challenges and we're going to do things in designer. But um, OK, so that's the admin and intro portion. Folks, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. We are closing in on 400 subscribers, which is super cool. Um, you know, we're going taking this thing into the stratosphere, as Jordan Belfort might say. So go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the notifications if you like this kind of content. If you have suggestions, get in the comments. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. But I tell you what, 30 days, you stick with me. I'll make you a genuine Ultrix hero just like me. See you then.